In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the aspect ratio in Bing AI Image Generator. Now, this is a fairly good workaround, but I'll show you here what you need to do. So first go to Bing AI Image Generator and enter in your prompt. Obviously, you need to be signed in. Now, the thing is, inside of this AI Generator, you can't actually change the dimensions. But what you can do once you've found an image, you can go ahead and download it to your computer. And this doesn't work every time, but if you download it and then you go to Google, you can use a free image extender. So type in AI image extender or just type in AI image expander. There are gonna be many that you can use. Just go ahead and try different ones. So we'll try this one by Pixar. Now we can go ahead and upload the image and this will 100% depend on your image and how capable this tool is. Now we're gonna continue with Google. I'm gonna create a free account. So now we've done that, we can now choose how we want to expand our image. So here's the original. We can expand to Instagram story, Facebook profile banner, YouTube thumbnail and so on. I've clicked on Instagram story and you can see it took a while there, but it's actually done a pretty good job of expanding this image. And you kind of wouldn't tell that that's AI. I'm quite impressed. Let's go back to the original and let's try and expand it for a YouTube thumbnail. So if we click on that, it's got to generate the two sides here. So let's see how it does. And for that, it was terrible. So this is going to depend on what dimensions you're after and what your image looks like. Let's see if it will generate a large rectangle and then I'll show you how to download the image. So it seems to have generated a large rectangle pretty good. We've got a bit of a crease there, but for a free tool, this has done a decent job depending on what dimensions you need. So anyway, once you've got the right dimensions, you can also custom expand this as well, but click apply and you can go ahead and then export this image. So go export. It will give you a free trial of premium if you want it. So go and grab that there. But if you export your image and then click on download, it will download your new image and this image will be the expanded image. Here you can see here is the expanded image. They've expanded the sides. Now we don't need this white bar so we're going to have to crop that. So if we go to edit in the top right hand corner on Windows 11, we can just crop this out. So to do that, click on the crop tool and then just crop out the white space here. Now we can go ahead and save that. So here is our image. We've now expanded it using AI for free. If that was helpful, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.